In this video, traders, we're going to look at a day trader's daily schedule. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a warm welcome to you. All right, so the average day trader schedule, let's have a look and see what you might expect if you're getting into the day trading business. Okay, so let's just, I've just wrapped this up as if you're trading on the European session from Europe. You're gonna have to shuffle these hours if you're trading, let's say you're trading the US only from EU, or if you're trading Asia from US, you get the idea. So if you're an EU uh, resident and you're trading DAX, FTSE, CAC, whatever it may be, this might be your daily schedule. So you're up at 6 a.m. Don't forget the market opens at 8 a.m. UK time if you're trading in the UK. So you want to be up two hours early. You know, the biggest mistake you can make is you're getting up too late and you're kind of scrambling to the desk. So you want to be up at 6 a.m. You want to do your morning routine, whatever that may be. People have got different things. Some people go and have a coffee. Some people will kind of read a book. Some people listen to a podcast, getting your mind right. I'm not going to go into that detail now, guys, but needless to say, that first kind of hour of the day, the game with trading is, is how you can control your day. You can control your thoughts, control this kind of stuff, get your routine going, have your shower, all that kind of stuff. But regardless of that, seven o'clock, you've got an hour now to prep for the day. Now you should have a kind of benchmark and kind of idea of what you're doing based on the night before and from the week before, but you're kind of adjusting this and tweaking it and looking to see what may happen in the day based on overnight session, based on what's happened after the close, all this kind of stuff, based on what's happened in US, in Asia, any new things that have come to light. So you're prepping and you're reviewing your plan kind of an hour before the open. Some people like to take more time than that, Personally, I think an hour's enough. You've got a lot of the legwork done already and you don't wanna prolong the, the kind of uh, the workload that you need to. Right, eight o'clock, you've got the bell. Eight till 9.30, you're looking for your opening drives, your fades, that kind of stuff. The most active time of the day for day traders is the open. You're well rested, you're well prepared, you know what you're gonna do, you've got a plan for the open. Are you gonna join a drive? Are you gonna wait for a drive to kind of run out of steam and start to fade it? Are there key levels in play that you're looking to fade? Is there a key level, is there a gap you're looking to fill? All this kind of stuff that you've got in your plan, every single minute that goes by, every single candle that's created is kind of reinforcing your hypothesis or negating it. All those things and in your positioning according to what you see. So 9.30 to 9.45, move, super important important this is just get up out of your seat i regret not doing this as much as i should have done really really important guys get up out your street get the blood flowing regardless of just let me put it this way to you you will probably make more money by doing it there you go this is simple why is that because there's loads of studies that say if the blood is flowing and you're exercising or at least moving i'm not saying go and do a massive sprint here i'm saying get up off the seat go and do some walking, do something just to get the blood flowing again. Studies have shown that blood flow to the brain increases, increases things like your ability to make complex decisions, increases reaction time. It's just beneficial. So put that all to one side if you like, don't believe me, just take it of a granted that if you do start to move and make that blood flow, you'll make more money because better decisions, quicker decisions are gonna be better for us as traders. So get up and move 15 minutes, right. Come back, you're now looking for your 9.45 to 11 o'clock period, the trend plays, the opening kind of chaos has died down a bit. Is there a trend play in place? Is there a range bound play in place? There's going to be a market theme that kind of starts to take over around that period generally. You're looking for your rotations. What is your rotation size? We're moving up 50 ticks and back 20. Are we doing this? Are we doing that? Where's my key levels? How can I kind of hypothesize? Are we going to go back and test the open? The open's a really good level to work off now. Good pivot. Are we kind of extended up into prior highs? How are we looking? And so in positioning from that, again, this is all going to kind of your plan, reviewing your plan, adjusting it on the fly as you get to here. Right. 11 o'clock to one o'clock, gym and food. Good nutrition goes without saying. If you're not a gym person, that's fine. Again, just do the move, just move, get some exercise, but a little bit longer this time. Get outside if possible, do something that you're away from the screen. Um, you may miss something, but I'm gonna say that, hey guys, the majority of the time you're not. This is just far more, this is far better for you than sitting there for the one day you're gonna miss something. Getting refreshed and prepared, ready for the lucrative US session that's about to happen. So you come back at one o'clock till two o'clock, you're doing US prep or you're trading over data or you're being careful over data, whatever. Sometimes you get data coming out at 1.30 UK time. So being aware of that, 
prepping, getting ready for another open really, because the other open, the US session opens, which is why it's so great sometimes to trade from Europe is that we get two opens. We get the US session open at 2.30. We get the UK, uh, Euros, Euro open at eight o'clock. So it's opening again, 2.30. We're prepped, we're ready, and we know what we're gonna do. Are we gonna do the same kind of thing? Are we looking for something different? How will that affect the markets that we're trading? All right, two o'clock till uh, four, uh, two twenty. Move again, get up, move around, get ready, because now we're gonna open, we're prepared, we, whatever's happened in the European sessions happened. European sessions still chugging, by the way. We've still got a few hours left, but the US now has that crossover. So we need to move again, getting a blood flowing, getting ready for what's going to happen at 2.30 when the bell goes in the US. 2.20 till 4.30, US session, you close. Reasonably long session, this guys, because we've got a good overlap. We've got the US session opening at 2.30. We've got the European close at 4.30. Well, 4.35, depending on how you look at it and there's a lot of crossover. So it's an intensive time, which is why we kind of want to make sure that we've got nutrition there and we've well rested and prepared and we're planned and we know what we're gonna do. Like we're gonna trade this way, that way. How are we gonna trade the close? We're gonna close some of the positions we've had from the, op from the open. Are we gonna close some positions we've had? Are we gonna open in new positions? How are we going to adjust? Now, what happens now is going to depend very much on whether you're trading all the way through the US session or you're trading just the EU session. Let's just stick to the EU session for now. Let's just say you're saying that not insane like many day traders, um, including me, when you're trading the EU and US session for years at a time. EU session, there's more than enough juice, so let's focus on that. So the bell's gone, it's time to unwind. I personally prefer to unwind a bit and then come back and do my um, analysis. Personal preference, some people like to do it straight away. I prefer to go away, do something else and come back and then say, okay, right, my journaling time, however long you dedicate for your journaling, whether it's 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, probably don't need two hours, guys. Let's try and be efficient here. Uh, give it 40 minutes, say. Journal what you've done. By the way, you should be kind of taking notes throughout so that it makes sense and you can remember things. But just journaling what you've done, writing down, again, any metrics that you need, any charts you want to print off. I'm still old school, print off the charts, stick them into a book and annotate them. Uh, whatever you need to do, update your Excel sheets. And then have a kind of broad plan, not too specific for the next day, and then go and do whatever you need to do in the evening ready for it to start again on the next day. All right, guys, it's a day trader, daily schedule. Take care, bye-bye.